This video is to show you Promethean Active Inspire's Question Manager, how to create questions prior to student arrival. This tutorial is using the latest version of Active Inspire, which is Active Inspire 1.7, so your screen may look a little different if you are using an older version of the software. This is going to allow you to create one question per flip chart page, and to create questions, you do not have to have Promethean clickers in order to just create the questions. So let's go, here are the steps. So I'm going to go to a blank flip chart page, and I'm going to go to the insert menu at the top of the screen, and I'm going to choose questions. This is going to open up the question manager dialog box, which is going to allow me to insert um, any questions I want to add. So right here you have your insert question box, and this drop down list is going to let you choose what type of question you want to add. So I want to add a multiple choice question, so I'm going to click on the plus sign. And then it's going to allow me to come over here and type in my question text. So what color is the sky? Something easy. And then I just come right below it and I enter in my options. So green, blue, orange, and purple. Now if I only have four options, A, B, C, and D, and I don't need these other two options, I can click on this red X off to the side, and that's going to remove those options as choices. So now I have an A, B, C, D answer choice. To assign the correct answer, you just click on the little box underneath the one that is the correct answer. So in this case, blue is my correct answer. So it assigns that as my choice. In this box, I can scroll down and I've got some different options here. Uh, I can ask a follow-up question if I would like. In this case, I'm not going to. And then the last thing I have to do is I can um, replace this with a new design. So it'll take all of my text from my question and it'll automatically populate a flip chart page. Something to note on these um, is that at the top, these templates have one, two, three, four as answer choices. If you choose one of those, those will be the answer choices that show up. So if you want an A, B, C, D answer, you're going to have to scroll until you find one. So there are a lot of different options in here. I want an easy one. So I'm going to choose this one. The question will be at the top and then A, B, C, D answer choices will show up underneath them. So I'm going to click on that one to select it and then I'm going to choose apply. I can move this dialog box and see that my question has been applied to the page and I click done and now my question has been inserted on the page and formatted for me. If I want to insert an additional question I can create a new page over here insert a page after my current and I can do those steps again to add let's say a Yes, no question, which is just like true or false. Um, two plus two equals five. So yes or no, or I can change that to true or false. And I can put my correct answer. And then again, you notice with this answer choice, you get different um, options for your template. You can choose to apply it, and then I'm done. So here's an example of one with a picture that I've added with the answer choices. So to engage the question for student response devices, watch the start stop flip chart voting video to see that. This it has been Promethean Active Inspires Question Manager.